Trooper Michael Proctor and Sergeant Yuri Buchanan of the Norfolk County District Attorney's Office responded to the unattended death of John O'Keefe at 34 Fairview Road in Canton. Those were your words, were they not? All right, so the objection sustained, you can ask it differently. Did Michael Proctor tell you that he had received or retrieved John O'Keefe's cell phone from 34 Fairview Road in Canton? Objection. I'm going to allow that. Uh, no, I didn't know where it was retrieved from. You didn't know where it was retrieved from? Correct. All right. Um, but you did include in your report that while Proctor and Buchanan were on scene, they retrieved the cell phone of John O'Keefe, correct? At some point during the day, they did. I don't know where from, so uh, there's multiple. Yeah, I'm asking about your report, Trooper. You know I'm questioning you about your report. No, I understand, I'm, and I'm explaining. Yeah, I don't you, know you what don't scene it's You don't get to explain, from. sir, oh. most respectfully, until Mr. Lally questions you. Check okay, you so no comments. Um, I think to speed things along, do you have that your report with you? I do, Your Honor. I think it'll make it easier, oh, Mr. Can you read the first two lines? Let, let, let him grab it. Whoa. Uh, go. Can you read yeah. the first two yep. lines to the jury, please? Yep. On Saturday, January 29th, 2022, Trooper Michael Proctor and Sergeant Yuri Buchanan of the Norfolk District Attorney's Office responded to the unattended death of John O'Keefe at 34 Fairview Road in Canton. Through his investigation was found, O'Keefe was a victim of a motor vehicle homicide. While on scene, Trooper Proctor secured O'Keefe's phone and brought it to the Norfolk DA's office. Oh, I got to change the pick. You're right, y'all. For forensic analysis. Oh, okay. So you'd agree with me that you included that clause while on scene, they secured his phone. Did you not? I did write that. Okay. Uh, and that was back on February 4th of 2022, correct? Yes, it was. Within six days of John O'Keefe being found mortally wounded on Albert's lawn, correct? Yes, sir. And at that time, you knew that the crime scene was 34 Fairview Road, correct? No. Uh, yet you put in your report while on scene. Did you not? Yes. I don't know what scene they recovered from. I know they went multiple places on the 29th. They didn't get back to me till 730 that night almost okay. when I first got the phone. Well, you, you'd agree with me that uh, the Canton Police Department wasn't the crime scene, correct? I never said crime scene in my report. I wrote scene. Okay. Um, well, Canton Police Department was not the scene of any crime, was it? I don't know. I don't believe so. You don't know if the Canton Police Department was the scene of a crime. I don't think it was. You don't think it was. Okay. Now, in that report, you were trying to establish the chain of custody of that phone, right? Because you described where it was found, where it was taken, and who had possession of it, correct? I said it never said where it was taken. I said the phone was recovered on scene by Trooper Proctor. Again, I don't know where it was recovered from. I did find out later it was at Canton PD. Well, ho hold on a second. Uh, we're, we're, again, we're focusing on your report. I know, I'm reading to, it. As opposed to the details you want to fill in now, okay? Okay. With regard to, you, you just testified that you never said where it was taken, yet previously you said it was taken to you, was it not? No, I said recovered from. Like the scene location. Did Trooper Proctor take the phone to you and yes. hand it to you? Yes, he did. Okay. So it was taken to you, correct? That is correct. All right. So uh, you described in your report where it was found because you said while on scene, correct? Correct. And where it was taken, it was taken to you, correct? Yes, sir. And who had possession of it, which was initially Trooper Proctor in terms of your observations, and then you, correct? That is who brought me the phone to the DA's office, yes. Um, and you would agree with me that chain of custody of a piece of evidence is an important detail in any criminal investigation, isn't it? Yes. Um, would you agree with me that... <laughs> would you agree with me? Someone reading your report or listening to it... Hey, shout out to Kat. Thank you for the $10 super sticker. Very sweet of you. Thank you for the love. As the jury listened today, 
would understand you to be saying that Michael Proctor seized John O'Keefe's cell phone at 34 Road in Kent. Objection. Sustained. All right. Um, I'd like to ask you some questions about the extraction that you discussed in that same February 4th, 2022 report, the very same report. Um, in that report, after you name the tools that you use to extract data from the phone, you indicated that a copy of that cell phone extraction was placed on a state police server or was it a DA's office server? A uh, DA's office server. Okay, on a server so that it could be accessed there, correct? That is correct. But that extraction you placed on the server did not include all the potential data on John O'Keefe's phone, did it? Uh, how do you mean? Well, didn't you indicate in your report that the extraction uh, was not inclusive of all potential data contained within the device? No, that's not true. Well, the extraction that you did contained communications, uh, iOS messages, phone calls, social media communications between John O'Keefe and Karen Reed, correct? Yes, that's correct. And it contained communications between John O'Keefe and Jennifer McCabe? Yes, that's true. It contained communications between John O'Keefe and Kerry Roberts? Uh, I can't recall. All right. But it did not include any communications between John O'Keefe and Julie Albert, did it? Again, I, I can't recall. And again, I'm talking about that initial extraction. That initial one didn't include any communications between John O'Keefe and Chris Al Albert, did it? I only created one extraction of John O'Keefe's phone. Right. Um, that extraction report uh, also did not include any location data, did it? Uh, no, it did. Um, you didn't note any location data in that initial report, did you? In the February 4th report? Correct. I didn't go through the data at that point. All right. This is just my extraction report saying that I got the phone, it was extracted, and placed onto the server. And then I wrote, this report is not inclusive of all potential evidence, uh, excuse me, potential data contained within this evidence. When was the first time that you reported on location data in this case? Uh... I don't remember. It wasn't until April of 2023, correct? Well, there was a reason for that. Well, I didn't ask you if there was a reason for it, sir. You understood <laughs> my question, didn't you? That's correct. My first report regarding was in January. Um, and uh, with, we're talking about John O'Keefe's phone now here. Okay? Yeah. Um, you did not report on the location data on John O'Keefe's phone until April of 2023, correct? Uh, I didn't ex look at the extraction initially. And you also uh, did not in, uh, report on any Apple, Apple Health data until the spring of 2023, correct? Again, I didn't look at the phone extraction. Trooper Proctor would have looked at it. I would have loaded it and given it to him. Okay, so, so Trooper Proctor had access to the phone first, and then you took care of it, correct? He had access to the extraction that I would load onto Cellbrite form to look at, where you can't change the data. That is correct. Uh, and you would agree with me that you didn't address John O'Keefe's health or location data in any formal report until that April 23 report, correct? That is correct. I never went through it. Right. And you submitted your report in April of 2023 after you became aware of an affidavit filed by the defense expert, Rick Green, in which Mr. Green extracted and analyzed John O'Keefe's location data and his movements according to Apple Health data. Isn't that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, before Rick Green submitted that affidavit, uh, no member of the state police homicide investigation team, including you, had ever looked at or at least reported on the location data for anyone present at 34 Fairview, correct? Y'all, this is Karen Reed, the Karen Reed trial. For the devices that we had, sir? The, for John, for uh, John O'Keefe's device, yeah. uh, for Jennifer McCabe's device, et uh, I, I can't speak to that. I don't know. All right. But you didn't, correct? Again, I didn't look at the extractions until later. Right. 